Today, I'm gonna to be showing how I made this design of Harlan. We're gonna go over how to color correct a pre-treated photo and just some overall compositions and coloring tricks I like to use in all of my graphics. Before we begin, if you like the content, please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when another video like this drops. It's free, you're already here, so do it, bruv. Thank you. Now let's hop into Photoshop and get started. Okay, first off, I got this pre-treated photo of Harland here that I wanna bring back to a more neutral look for my graphic. And there's a super easy way to do it. You wanna grab a curves adjustment and select this dark color picker. Now you just need to click somewhere really dark within the photo, like here. Then select the medium color picker and go click on a grayish area. It doesn't have to be exact and you can try different spots to see what works best. Then finally, you do the same thing with the light color picker on a light area of the photo. You can also go into each of the colors and make adjustments as needed. Now you can work with just this, but I usually like to add in a levels for extra tweaks. Like I wanna raise the mids in this photo like that. The darks are quite deep, but that actually works with the graphic idea I have. So just make any changes that suits your needs. But what you're left with is a much more neutral base to start your design with. It's crazy easy and it takes no time at all. Now onto the design. We've got our blank document here. Just need to drop in the player photos. I'll move this main one round about here. This profile shot can be somewhere in the back. And this guy, it's the same guy, but you know what I'm saying, this one can go down here. Then we just need to add some color raw, especially to this front one, cause what the f is this color here? So we'll just go into the settings and make it a little bit more of a vibrant sky blue to match the other photo. There you go. Then I'll just add in a quick shadows and highlights, something like this will do. And I just need to do the same for the other two photos. I just realized my quick select didn't highlight this little rose thing on the city logo for some reason. Has it done it on the other one? Yeah, of course, for sake. Now, all the photos, have, you know what? I was about to say all the photos have been color roared and that don't sound right. So the, the photos have been edited in it. Anyway, I wanna play into the boat that's on the city logo. So I've got this C photo here. I'll get a selection of the sky. Then I just need to neaten up that mask with a levels and then I'll drop that into the graphic. Let's scale that down. Now the perspective warp, so the waves at the front look a lot closer. Need to add a camera raw as well to make these oranges and blues a lot more vibrant like this. I also got this out of focus close up wave shot and I'll just use the pen tool to create a mask for this area down in the bottom right. Cool, now we just need to add in some of that light on the surface. I'll use a hue and saturation, make that like a deepish kind of orange. We only want this effect to apply to the lightest areas as well like this. Then we're gonna duplicate it, make this one more of a yellow kind of color, set it to linear light and I'll just paint that into the brightest areas. Also gonna add some shadow down here and I'm actually gonna duplicate this orange hue and saturation so I can paint it in over the top just to make the colors a bit more vibrant and stand out that bit more. Right, I got this 3D render of a ship boat thing from Envato Elements and we'll just drop that in somewhere in the middle like this. Now let's get this sky sorted out. I have this cloudy photo that we can drop into the back like here. Now the photo is nice but the colors just look a little bit flat so I'm gonna use this sunset photo as well to bring the background to life. I'll paint in on one side so I can blend it in with the top photo and then I'll just do this bro and then I'll just do the same with the other side. There's going to be some cool shit happening down here in this blank space so no need to worry about that. Then I went ahead and added in some extra fill layers, set the screen for some added oomph to these sunset colors. Now for the good stuff. I got this dramatic smoke photo. I'll get rid of the highlights with a blend if and position this somewhere to the left. Notice how all of the assets in the graphic follow a diagonal left line. Aside from that foreground wave photo that breaks it purposefully, everything else is set up to guide your eye from the top to the bottom. This is a good composition tip to keep in mind when you're making your own graphics. We'll go ahead and make this smoke cloud darker and then let's add in some fire assets. Talking of fire assets, even jdesignshop.com, some fire assets over there. Check it out. But I added in a few more fire pictures back here and now I want to create some depth within the smoke. I'll position this around here and using the same sunset colors from the background, set the screen, I'll paint that in and that will just give some separation between the different plumes of smoke. A man said plumes, you know, have I ever said that word before in my life, bro? I want to add in one more even lighter set of cloud smoke somewhere in the back here. I like that this photo is lighter overall, but I just need to turn down the saturation and even exposure a little bit as well. We need to add in some more contrast behind the boat. So I'm going to drop in some of those orange and yellow fill colors down here and even try a near white color as well, just to make that boat silhouette really pop out. And this is the part that makes every single design better, no matter what. We got to add in those sweet 
sweet glows <laughs> i'm gonna go around and paint those in also need some yellow glows in the hottest areas as well for some added realism i'm also dropping in these kind of fire ember particle things around the flames like that I almost forgot that i wanted to add in the new premier league football floating conveniently down here so i'll position that add the field blur so it matches the foreground wave and i'll just paint in some shadows on the side facing away from all the fire and then i'll paint in an orange hue and saturation on the side that is facing all the fire and add some shadows to the water directly behind it as well right i think it's time to add some shadows highlights and overall effects to these player photos so i'm going to start with an inner glow set to linear dodge and also an outer glow this needs to be a little bit more subtle though. Now, I need to emphasize these shadows a bit more with an exposure layer. We don't need this affecting any of the lighter colors like this. And I think I can set this to overlay, soft light. Nah, overlay, overlay. One more shadows exposure layer, but this one I'll actually paint in specifically where I want it to be. And I'll do the exact same thing with a highlights exposure layer like this. Right, before I do this with the rest of the photos, I've got to add in some color grading. And of course, I'm going to be using my Make It Pop and Orange and Teal LUT packs available on my site. I ain't going to plug them too crazy here, but the link is in the description if you want to get your hands on those. So here's the final coloring. Overall, it's a bit more subdued than some of my other work, but I think it fits the design really well. I also went ahead and applied that same lighting and shadows to the other photos too but now i need that same kind of look applied to the boat so i'll start off with an inner glow maybe set this to color then i'm going to start to paint in all of the highlights on these lower parts of the sails and everything else i can already tell this is going to be kind of long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to speed this up and you can watch it all come together And that's all done. That definitely helped to make the boat fit into the scene a lot more. I thought it would be cool to add in some gold detail into this render. So I've got a group of adjustment layers that give a nice goldy kind of look. I've covered this in a previous video, so I won't go over that again. But what I do want to do is have a metallic-y looking version of the boat so I can apply all of the gold coloring to it. So I'll get a copy of this, desaturate it, then duplicate this new layer and invert it. Command I if you want to use the quick keys. I'll set this one to difference and merge the two layers together. Then I basically just need to repeat this process again. Duplicate, invert, set to difference and merge the two layers. Now, what we're left with looks a bit weird with all the gold coloring turned on, but if I mask out the layer and then start to paint in the areas I want the gold to be, you can see we get a really cool gold metallic-y kind of look. So I just went ahead and added in all of the gold details and this is starting to look pretty good. Next, I'm gonna incorporate the old Man City logo and I'm just gonna mask them into the top sails like this. Now we need to see how this all looks in the design. This is turning out perfect, I'm not gonna lie, but there's one standout thing. There's no in reflections in the water. Okay, so let's put this flip boat down here, add in some ocean ripple from the filter gallery, then whatever this stuff is, maybe a bit of this thing too. What the hell is that? Okay, it's kind of clear I'm figuring this out as I go along, but I think the best way to do this is to use liquify and draw in these ripples by hand. Hey, that's not looking too shabby. That is not too bad at all. I'm gonna add in some extra shadows and I also need to do those exact same reflections with the fire and smoke in the background too. There you go. This is basically done at this point, but I thought we needed some more drama. So I'm gonna add in some rain, put some splashes around here for all of those design nerds out there like that. And then add in some of my lens flares at an angle to really finish this off. And here's the final design. Something just a little bit different from my usual basketball graphics. Really hope you liked the video and the design. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment, all of that stuff. It just helps me know what kind of content you enjoy. And yeah, with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.